Hey YouTube, I got some new fish. You want to see how I got them here? Stay tuned. Hey YouTube, Ryan again coming at you today with a little bit different type of video. I recently picked up a, a pair of Feste. There's one right here and the other one's hiding out behind this pot now. As you can see, I've got them divided, but um, harder to find fish, like a lot of the ones I keep are. So um, I had to look somewhere else other than where I live here in Minnesota. And uh, these ones happened to kind of fall into my lap. Um, a guy in Michigan was selling them, and one of my buddies, Matt Gramer, uh, shout out to him, check out his uh, YouTube channel also, um, knew the guy, and the guy was wanting to sell them locally, but Matt was willing to help out and uh, kind of broker the deal, pick them up, ship them to me, and that type of thing. So um, so I had them flown in on uh, Delta Cargo, um, same day, airport to airport type of a situation. Uh, so I thought I would just kind of take the camera along with me and show you guys uh, how that all works if you've never ordered in fish um, airport to airport. In my opinion, it's the best and easiest way to do it. And if you're looking for anything quicker than two days, um, it's the cheapest too. It's only like 75 bucks at the most I've ever paid. I paid uh, in the 60s also. Actually, I even paid like 45 once. So. Um, and you get the fish the same day, um, so it's a pretty good deal. So if you've got a major airport in your area, look into uh, airport to airport shipping next time you order fish from out of state. All right guys, I will take you along with me here and show you what's up. So I'm just getting ready to head out to the airport and I'm just gonna show you guys what I bring when I pick up a shipment. Um, I'm getting two large fish, so I filled up about halfway or a little more, three quarters of the way. Um, two five gallon pails with tank water from the tank they're going into just in case um, there's a problem with the bags or the box and things have leaked rather you know I picked up fish before where there's barely any water left and the fish is still alive so if that's the case you can plop them into a bucket and then I just brought a couple nets and some towels too so let's head out to the airport. All right, so uh, we're just arriving here at the airport. And actually when I say airport, it's not the main terminal of our airport here in Minneapolis, but um, it's this building over here to your left, um, Delta's cargo, I guess you call it a hangar. Um, I know I've gotten fish in through Southwest before too, and they're actually off-site. Anyone I've ever shipped to has also told, I mean, told me that it's off-site from the airport. Um, where you pick up um, so when you hear the airport to airport you're really not going into the airport and picking something up at a counter or baggage claim or anything but you're uh, you're going to um, like a loading dock type area like this and uh, I'll just kind of show you what the area looks like here at our uh, local location where where you pick up and drop off um, it's right over here where I'm gonna be parking it says Delta cargo right there just kind of a doesn't look like it's like a place for customers or anything but you just walk in and there's a counter in there people will help you and stuff so anyway let's go pick up right, so I got my box here and we're just gonna before we leave Open her up. Forgot to bring a knife, so I'm using my. Looks like a good packing job, at least from the outside so far. So let's go. Shout out too to my buddy Matt Gramer for helping out with this. Um, these fish came from Michigan. Somebody who was just selling them locally didn't want to ship or whatever and Matt helped me out and uh, got these for me and shipped them you know it's a good thing when it's hard to open a box that's what I always say or well, hard to get the fish out of a bag because that's a quality packing job and from what I can see here 
quality bag you got too. Several bags. Which is that fish is alive. And that fish is alive. So success. Um home and get them into a tank but uh, just wanted to kind of show you how it uh, how it all goes down when you ship airport to airport these things left Michigan at uh, noon whatever time zone that's I guess that's Eastern time zone they got here they landed in Minnesota at um, 10 to 1 central time so there's a time zone zone difference so basically it was like a hour and ten or almost a two-hour flight if I'm doing my math right there and then you give about an hour before you pick it up so right now it's 20 after 2 and I've got these fish in my possession half hour drive home so however long it took Matt to get to the airport add that on that's how much time these guys were packaged up so pretty cool all right I'll get back with you when we get all right so we're at home now Got one bag removed here and one in the box. Just gonna kind of show you um, what a packing job should be like on uh, you know, shipping large fish. The outer bag here, there we go. It's a nice insulated box. Foam insulation. Gonna, I'm working with one hand here. Gonna pull that bag off. Get to the next one here. Looks like we've got at least three bags, which is good. Those are landed very well. Sorry about this here. But, okay. Keep back in there too. Some water got out, not a lot, but that's kind of comes with the territory. But I don't see any actual leaks that the fish may have sprung. So that's kind of, I'm not going to film the second bag too. That fish is also alive and doing well. But I just kind of wanted to give you guys an idea on what can be done if you are wanting to get a fish, especially a bigger fish, from somewhere else in the country. Uh, like I said earlier, uh, this was in Michigan. It's almost three o'clock now, Central Time. This was in left Michigan at noon, Eastern Time, and now we've got uh, fish floating in the tank. So it's uh, and it's not very expensive. Less than seventy-five bucks. It was like seventy-three bucks to ship a package this size. It goes by size of package and weight. Um, I've shipped stuff out airplane or airport to airport for as low as like 45 smaller packages but if you've got good access to an airport it's really the way to go um, you get the fish the same day and it's cheaper than you know UPS overnight or FedEx overnight so with that said uh, I'll cut this one short I don't think I have anything else to show you um, thanks for watching and as always make sure you go over to aquatic support uh, systems on Facebook um, join the Aquatic Support Community Facebook group and make sure you subscribe to all the members of Team Aquatic Support. Their, um, their links will all be below. Take care, guys.